here. They're hanging their stockings and it's making me sneer. I hate all the singing, I hate all the toys, I hate all the feasting, and oh! There's that noise. <laughs> that terrible, terrible Christmas time noise. Mr. Grinch, hmm. how can you hate Christmas so much? What? Some say that my head isn't screwed on just right. And some say that perhaps it's that my shoes are too tight. And some claim that the most likely reason of all is that my heart is two sizes too small. <laughs> but you know, does it really make me unpleasant if I dislike a holiday all about presents? Mr. Grinch, Christmas isn't all about presents. Not about presents. Not about ribbons. Not about tags. Not about packages, boxes, or bags. I'm puzzling. I'm puzzling. <laughs> now my puzzle is sold. Hmm. But if not about presents, then what is there more? Well, you see, Mr. Grinch. Oh, I know. It's about singing. All those silly songs, carols, and choirs, and oh! <laughs> no, actually. So it's the food <laughs> that Christmas is all about. Feasting until one's pants button pops out. <laughs> no, it's... A vacation. It's the days that people don't have to work. Wearing pajamas, they lounge and they lurk. <laughs> Wait, Mr. Grinch. Hmm. Let me tell you. Okay. It's not about presents, or songs, or food, or even vacation. Christmas is a celebration, a celebration that Jesus Christ is born, and God is with us. What? What is reason for all this fuss? Christ is here, and God's with us? Yes, that's right. On Christmas, we celebrate that Jesus was born, and God is always with us. So what, uh, you say that God is always here? But why is there so much Christmas cheer? Well, you see, Mr. Grinch, Christmas is about a light coming into the world. Ah, yes, the light, the light. On Rudolph's nose, mm -hmm, celebrating a reindeer whose snout brightly glows. <laughs> Mr. Grinch, it's not just that. In those days, they went out to the decree. So Joseph and Mary traveled to Bethlehem from Galilee. Mary was having a baby, but there was no space. So Jesus was born in an unusual place. He was all wrapped up and laid in a manger. You know, for the Son of God, this seems even stranger. <laughs> Keep reading the story. And then the angels appeared and they said, Glory, glory. The shepherds were out in the field watching sheep when the angel arrived with light and a glorious swoop. I've got good news for you, said the angels, so do not fear. The Messiah is born. The Lord God is here. Suddenly there was a whole heavenly host calling glory to God in the high heavenly post. And let there be peace for God's people on earth. For well, that is the reason for the Savior's birth. The angels went on their way, and the shepherds went to see the child in the manger with Joseph and Mary. When they met the parents, they repeated what the angels had said, and Mary treasured these words in her heart and her head. All were amazed by these wonderful things, hearing that this baby was greater than kings. What? What is behind this wild and crazy story? This sounds like a tall tale to me. It's a story about a baby being born in a barn one night, and you say he's greater than kings. <laughs> well, that can't be right. <laughs> oh, that's right, Mr. Grinch. You see, this baby was great in a different way. Mm. He came into this world helpless 
and poor, but he changed the world forever. That's what Christmas is all about, Mr. Grinch. It's about the world being changed when Jesus was born. Hmm. Well, you've got some explaining to do, because I don't see how the world can be changed by a tiny baby. It's not just the baby, Mr. Grinch. The baby grew up. He was Jesus the Christ, which means Messiah. He had lots of other names, too, like Emmanuel, which means God with us. Jesus Christ is God with us. And he is God who came into the world as a human and lived and talked and walked and worked and ate and slept and cried and laughed along with other people. Jesus was with them, and Jesus is still with us. He promised that he always would be. Well, I'm looking this way. Now, this way I'll peer. Hmm, does anyone see him? I'm not finding Christ here. Mr. Grinch, have you ever been sad? Have you ever been really hurting? Do I seem like a happy-go-lucky person, too? <laughs> <laughs> I live in a cave, and everyone's scared of me. What do you think? Have you ever been really worried? Is this torment a Grinch day? <laughs> Mr. Grinch, God is with us. When we hurt, God is with us. When we are lonely, God is with us. When we are scared, God is with us. God is with us all the time. Hmm. Well, Ali, Ali, oxen free, come on out, God. <laughs> well, it's been delightful, I'm sure. But I've got work to do, and I tell you, I don't see Christ. Do you? Well, actually, yes. <sighs> I should have known better than to ask you. Hmm. I think this one is a little... <laughs> Where, pray tell, would you have cast my sight to see this Jesus, the shining light? Well, how about over there? Or there? Or there? Or there? Okay, well, in, in him? Yes, absolutely. And this guy? Yep. Okay. What about this one? You better believe it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about... Eh, nah. <laughs> uh, how about... <laughs> and do you think that... It's time to start singing. And maybe I, I, I can start us? Uh, if, if you'll sing along. <laughs> yes, I, I, the Grinch, will start this next song. God with us, God with us, God with us, God with us. 